So in his second lecture for Torah in Motion on the Stipler, a rainy rabbi of the 20th century in Israel, Professor Mark B. Shapiro makes the point that after the Hazon Ish died, the previous leading Haredi rabbi at this time in Israel, people turned to the stipler with their problems, and then the stipler began to assume the role of the Sadek, the holy man, much like a Hasidic Rebbe who had clairvoyant powers. This is unusual because the Lithuanians didn't normally relate to their rabbis, so there were Rebbes with wonder-working powers. So the Hazon Ish was never regarded this way and the Lithuanian Gadolin were never regarded this way, but uh, the Stifler kind of took on this holy man uh, persona, like a man with Ruach Akodesh, the, the divine spirit, he would give brachas. He never shied away from this, so probably his ascetic background came to the fore here. This is what he grew up, grew up with. So the Stifler did not function as a posek, a decider of Jewish law, he functioned as a leader. And uh, the Stifler said that abortion is forbidden except for when there's a danger to the mother's life. Stifler had very negative views of non-Orthodox Jews. Uh, so his disagreements with the Satmar Hasidim, the, the anti-Zionists, were over tactics, not over ideology. Quoting the Stifler, we are in exile in the modern secular state of Israel. The Stifler said that the Yom Kippur War of 1973 it's brought on by the Labour government to boost its election chances. Uh, the Stipler and Rav Shock, while they very negative comments about psychologists, they were convinced that, generally speaking, psychology was a waste of time. When it comes to doctors, even Haredi Jews don't care, whoever's an expert. But with psychologists, uh, an Orthodox Jew you know, should be careful about who he goes to, says Mark Shapiro, because uh, we just can't go to any psychologist that's dangerous because it might cause people to stop following the path of Torah.